you have had hip surgery, do not do this. Sun News Center 40, Washington judge finds Beatrice Food and Tropicana products merger illegal. Area residents spend a rainy day after Thanksgiving, mostly shopping and browsing. Two survivors of Las Vegas Hotel Fire recall that terrorizing event. New Center series on drug abuse programs concludes tonight with a look at school activities. Marianne? And in the weather, if you thought it was cool today, wait until tonight. In sports, Roberto Duran changes his mind and Pitt beats Penn State. We'll have details next. When you want quality, instant printing in a hurry, see the professionals who print at DIP. Here at PIP, we're noted for our friendly service and quality printing. While you wait. We print copies identical to your original. Just a few or thousands. Letterheads, carbonless forms, brochures, you name it, we print it. PIP is the world's largest printing chain all across America. It's never happened before. Project 300 has come to the Bay Area. 300 specially ordered Buick Regals and Centuries go on sale at your favorite Suncoast Buick dealer. Tomorrow, buy a new Buick at a price that makes more sense than a Chevrolet or Pontiac. Here's how. Pick out a Regal or Century with a special Buick bargain package, and two-tone paint or a vinyl roof comes at no extra charge. And these Buicks are ready for immediate delivery. This offer is available at your favorite Suncoast Buick dealer, where business is great. Buick, the car of the 80s. This is News Center 40, the only daily comprehensive report of the Sarasota Manatee area. Good evening, everyone. I'm Mary Ann Fashion. And I'm Bob Keen. Here's the news. Two years ago, Beatrice Food merged with Tropicana Products, but today a judge disagreed with that action. Administrative Judge James Timoney in Washington ordered Beatrice Food Company to divest itself of Tropicana Products because the 1978 merger of the orange juice giant was illegal. Judge Timoney said taking over the Bradenton-based orange juice industry substantially lessens competition in the chilled orange juice industry. Tropicana is the largest citrus processor in the world and the nation's leading producer of chilled orange juice. It processes more than 30% of the chilled orange juice sold in grocery stores. In Chicago, Beatrice Food Chairman and Executive Officer James Dutt said the company will appeal the decision of the judge and, in the opinion of the firm's legal counsel, the full five-man Federal Trade Commission will approve the merger. Well, as traditional as the turkey on Thanksgiving is the early Christmas shopping, which takes place the day after. Today's rainy weather made it ideal for that indoor activity and many others. Enjoying a one-day holiday, just browsed and lounged, as New Center's Greg Hartman reports. How to spend a rainy day after Thanksgiving was a decision made by many who had the day off, and many descended upon DeSoto Square Mall and passed the day playing various video games and shopping for Christmas gifts. The day after Thanksgiving is traditionally the biggest shopping day of the year across the nation, as people look for gift ideas. Such was the case today. Even Santa dropped by the mall to pay a holiday visit. At DeSoto Square Mall, I'm Greg Hartman. And those who didn't shop today will most likely be out and about tomorrow. Christmas is just around the corner, and with the Yuletide celebration, of course, comes Santa Claus. The jolly, jovial fellow awakened from his slumber this morning at Sarasota Square Mall, ready to talk with young ones regarding their wishes and to find out if they've been good or bad. Every year, St. Nick awakes from his bed at the mall to visit with children and have their picture taken with the celebrated old man. Santa isn't the only one that will be making rounds the next couple of weeks. Shoppers, too, will be flocking to buy Christmas gifts for others. Marianne? And in other news, nine traffic fatalities have been reported thus far for the Thanksgiving holiday weekend. According to the Florida Highway Patrol, 
38 are expected to die on Florida highways before the long holiday weekend is over. There have been 146 highway fatalities nationwide. Today marks the one-week anniversary of the tragic fire at Las Vegas' MGM Grand Hotel, which claimed the lives of at least 84 persons. Among those who survived was Cincinnati Red pitcher Thomas Hume and his wife Susan. The Humes live in Palmetto on talk with Greg Hartman about the tragedy. About 7.15 or so, I heard somebody rapping on the doors, you know, lightly rapping on the door, and I heard somebody yell fire. And quickly, I went straight to the door first and looked out the door. To my left was the, f about five doors was the fire escape. To the right, down, coming down the hall was smoke was just rolling towards us down the hall. Mm -hmm. As we got onto the stairwell, then sm smoke from the bottom, of course, started coming up. And we went about two flights of stairs, and, and uh, it just started getting smoky. And the further we got, it was got sm you know, more smoke and more smoke. And we got to the 16th floor. And, Somebody yelled, you can't go any further, you know, go back, go back, go up. We, you know, we can't go down, go up. We got up there and <clears throat> there was a policeman up there. Then a helicopter started to come and get ready to land. It, they were just all trying to get to the helicopter at one time. There was one helicopter and everybody wanted to get on that one <clears throat> helicopter. I'm sure everyone was praying just as hard as we were. So we were, we're, just, we're just really thankful and really lucky. <laughs> Tom Hume was among the last to be flown to safety from the roof of the complex. Susan is the daughter of Palmetto Mayor Toby Holland. Last night, we visited with the Alvarez family. They arrived on uh, the Freedom Flotilla last May and have settled in Sarasota. Tonight, we'll look how they have settled into the labor and school area here in Sarasota. Juan and Miriam have jobs, and their son, Angel, and nephew, Danilo, are attending Sarasota schools. Juan was a lithographer and typesetter. Juan says his first job in America is important because he must start somewhere in order to become better established in his new community. At least in America, Juan says, there is freedom to choose your work. In Cuba, there is not. Miriam Alvarez did clerical work for a gas company in Cuba. She and Juan tried to arrange similar work schedules. They drive an old two-door sedan to his job. She then bicycles to hers. Young Angel spends his days at fruitful school in bilingual classes. This day's lesson includes a drill on the months of the year. January, okay, class? January. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September. Each day is full of pop quizzes, drills, writing, and rewriting. Danilo is 18. He shares his English classes at Sarasota's Votex Center with students of many nationalities. There is more drill and conversational English at Danilo's class level. Number three, is it winter time? No, it is not winter time. Class size and variety of nationality sometimes slows learning progress, but Danilo is eager to learn. The transition for the Alvarez family has not been easy, but they feel lucky to have the chance to start a new life here and hope to bring more of their family to the United States. Bob will have more news right after this. At Publix, shopping for values is a pleasure because you'll always take home quality buys like this tender USDA choice boneless round steak at $1.99 a pound. These Florida seedless red grapefruit are full of fresh juicy flavor. They're a smart buy too at $1.09 for the eight pound bag. And be sure Publix food gift certificates are on your shopping list. A wonderful gift idea available at your customer service counter at Publix. Shopping is a pleasure. Nothing cooks my lasagna better than a microwave oven. Nothing bakes my pie better than a convection oven. Now Sharp introduces the unbeatable combination. Sharp's new convection microwave. As a microwave oven, it's better for casseroles, fish, and vegetables. Delicious. As a convection oven, it's better for cakes, pastries, and pies. Never better. Sharp's carousel turns the food so you don't have to. Sharp's carousel convection microwave. 
TV special $547 at Gaines West Coast Electronics, Bradenton and Sarasota. Bob's Carpet Mart, 5630 14th Street West, US 41 in Bradenton is going out of business. Now you can save up to 70% on fine first quality carpet. It's been a long time since you've seen prices this low. Save up to 70%. Look at these prices. Plush at 588 a yard. Cut loop as low as 388. Short shag at 399. Room size remnants as low as $29. Other first quality carpeting as low as a dollar a yard. Hurry, save up to 70% now at Bob's Carpet Mart, 5630 14th Street West, US 41 in Bradenton. All this week on News Center, we have been attempting to show you what is available in the private sector to prevent and treat drug abuse. Today, we will look at what the Sarasota County School System and your tax dollars are doing toward drug abuse prevention. Dave Niederprum says parents should be setting a good example at home. And beyond that? Now, we're doing this and have done this by trying to control those activities that take place in out-of-the-way places bathroom patrols, what have you. This is being greatly assisted by a volunteer uh, parent groups that are helping patrol various school halls and bathrooms, school administrators taking a, a more active stance in preventing this kind of behavior, the school board encouraging us to be more strict in our policies. Another way we work on drug abuse is in the broad area of, of interpersonal, intrapersonal skills, communication skills. A kid who feels good about himself is far less likely to abuse drugs than a kid who feels bad about himself. In this way, the school system can take a very active stance in trying to create an environment that gives kids these kinds of skills. How to resist peer pressure, for example. At this point in time, the school system has a drug education program in grades 4, 5, and 6, grade 8, and grade 11. These, again, are primary prevention programs or education programs. With the assistance of groups like First Step, we have an alcohol abuse program in grade 9. We have a program in grade 3. They have a program for grade 3, which is not funded this year, unfortunately. American Cancer Society provides with the programs. We get a lot of community support in our efforts to reduce drug abuse. And says Dave Niederprune, parental involvement with the school system can help these programs work. We need parents to take responsibility for where their kids are. That does not mean they have to become social directors, but it does mean many maintaining information and some idea of where your kids are, what's happening out there. I think as a parent you need to do that, especially in this day and age. In summation, the message seems clear. Sincere prevention efforts, peer counseling, professional treatment, and above all, parental concern. We can all do our part to prevent drug abuse. Venice City officials are looking into possible safety hazards at the Ringling Brothers Barnum & Bailey Circus Arena in Venice. News Center's Jeffrey Pryor has this report. City Manager Dale Reith will receive a report on Monday at the Venice City Hall concerning possible violations at the arena from fire and building inspectors. City Manager Reith has already informed Venice Council members there are no exits from the upper grandstand to the outside. Also, concession stands crowd the side exit and sliding doors at one end of the arena are closed during performances. Reith said the reasons violations were not checked before was the original purpose was for use as a rehearsal hall, not a performing center. The arena seats 4,400 people. Scaffolding or some type of airplane passenger chutes have been suggested as a remedy. City officials said Reith has the authority to shut down the winter home of the circus if he believes it necessary. Whatever the decision, circus performers and technicians are already working on the next season's show. Scheduled at the Venice Arena, January 1st. For News Center 40, I'm Jeffrey Pryor. And if you thought it was cold today, just wait to hear what Tracy has to say next. South Bay Yacht Basin and Racquet Club, a community of exclusive elegance. Secluded, yet convenient to good shopping and recreational areas. Whether you moor your boat here, or just like being around that atmosphere, South Bay is steps above the ordinary. Come visit your dream home at South Bay, just four miles south of Sarasota Square Mall on Highway 41, another quality neighborhood by paver. The Sears Appliances has made a special purchase of new 1981 Zenith TVs. Buy this dependable Zenith Portable for only $69 with trade. You save $30. Or this deluxe 19-inch Zenith Color TV with electronic tuning for only $398. You save $100 at the Sears. Use your credit or lay away now for Christmas. Shop any one of 14 to Sears stores, the family-owned stores with friendly service and low prices for over 30 years.
X cars, K cars, J cars, they all say they're the new cars for the world. Well, they're all a little late, because Toyota has built the world's number one selling economy car for years. And in 1981, while new emission standards have lowered the gas efficiency of many cars, Toyota gives you a new American gas champ, the 1981 Starlet. Before you buy any car in the alphabet, test drive Toyota quality at your local Toyota dealer. Get sold on the real economy cars for the world. Well, we transplanted Floridians uh, usually try to make excuses about cold weather, but uh, I don't think we can excuse what's going to happen tonight. Teresa. I don't think so, Bob. I don't care where you're from in the United States. It's going to be a cold night tonight, and I'll tell you just how cold it's going to get later on. Current conditions for the Sarasota-Bradenton area at this hour include both under cloudy skies. Incidentally, the scene you see behind current conditions is right here at Channel 40, just outside, and these are current sky conditions. The temperature for Sarasota now 50 degrees, 52 degrees for Bradenton. The relative humidity for, 80, for Sarasota is 84 percent for both Sarasota and Bradenton. In the past 24 hours, we've picked one and three quarters of an inch amount of rainfall for both Sarasota and Bradenton. The barometer 30.09 in rising for Sarasota, 30.05 in rising for Bradenton. Winds are out of the northeast at 7 in Sarasota and northeast at 4 in Bradenton, and our pollution standard index is not available. Let's take a look now at our color radar, and the showers have greatly decreased since earlier today. It shows a small area of light rain along the west central coast of St. Petersburg. An area of rain remains in South Florida between Palm Beach and Everglades City. These showers are moving to the east, southeast at about 20 miles an hour. Again, most of the shower activity has decreased over Florida this evening. The front causing our clouds and shower activity has now passed into the Florida Straits. It is going to be causing quite cool temperatures over Florida. We do have a high pressure system located over southern Texas. It will move in an easterly direction and add to our cold weather conditions. Freeze warnings have been posted for southern Georgia and northern Florida, and light frost is possible as far south as Orlando. In the northeast, a few showers and snow flurries mixed in that area, and mostly cloudy skies with snow being scattered from the upper Mississippi Valley into the northeast, a mixture again of snow, sleet, and freezing rain. Our satellite picture tonight well, we've got pretty much of the same type of cloud coverage as Thanksgiving Day. The high-pressure area near Texas, again, will move east this evening and dominate Florida's weather for the weekend. Afternoon temperatures include 37 for Nashville, 39 in Atlanta, 40 in Richmond, Virginia, 44 in Washington, 55 for New York, 45 in Boston and raining, 35 in Cincinnati and snow, 36 in Detroit, 34 in Chicago, and 34 in St. Louis. Temperatures for the Sarasota-Bradenton area at this hour now all in the low 50s. Again, most of the showers have decreased throughout the area. We did have a few uh, light, drizzly moments earlier today. 54 in St. Petersburg, 53 in Tampa, Bradenton, 52 degrees, 52 down in Venice on the beaches. They also have 52 degrees, 54 in Palmetto, and we now have a chilly 50 degrees here at Channel 40. 5 p.m. temperatures over Florida, as you can see, are mainly in the 50s already, and they, again, are expected to be quite a bit more cooler. Uh, frost and freeze warnings, again, have been posted over North Florida. 54 for Jacksonville, 50 at Gainesville at 5 p.m., 53 in West Palm Beach, and 60 degrees in Fort Myers. Our high today in Sarasota was 60, and we had a low last night of 49. Tonight's Weather Watcher artist has drawn today perfectly as wet, cold, and gray. Her name is Kim McDaniel. She is five years old and is in the first grade in Miss Hamilton's class at Brentwood Elementary. Thank you, Kim. Here's our boating weather. Gulf winds will be north at 15 knots this evening and 10 to 15 knots Saturday and Saturday night. Seas will be 3 to 4 feet on Saturday and skies will remain cloudy tonight, then clear through Sunday. The Gulf water temperature 64 degrees and the next tide at Sarasota Bay is a high tide at 7.09 this evening with a low tide at 12.17 Saturday morning. Now here's our forecast for the weekend. It will be gradually clearing tonight. We only have a slight chance for rain this evening and cold becoming partly cloudy and continued cold through Saturday morning. Then cool afternoons and fair through Sunday. The low tonight, there it is, a very, very chilly 38 degrees. The high Saturday, about 64, so it will remain cool. Winds will be north at 4 to 7 miles per hour tonight and northwest at 8 to 12 miles per hour tomorrow, then diminishing tomorrow night. Sunrise is at 7.01 and sunset at 5.36. We've got a good weekend coming up, maybe a bit chilly, but at least it should be dry. We'll be right back. Now, Zenith System 3 is more. Superb picture. And more. Now, System 3 offers you the PRP circuit. 
It gives you 25% more picture sharpness. Zenith, we're moving television into the future. Zenith System 3 TVs are now available at AAA TV and Appliances, 2320 Gulfgate Drive, Sarasota. Dateline Volkswagen. It's happening right now at Manatee's Auto Shopping Center. This is Bill Pringle inviting you to see the new exciting Volkswagen Rabbits, Dashers, Sirocco's, and Trucks. Join us in a big square dance and hoedown every Saturday night this month. Yep, a real live caller, good music, prizes, and loads of fun. Dozy do on in Dockery Volkswagen, Bradenton. And keep in mind, ladies and gentlemen, that an escape of this magnitude has never been accomplished before anywhere. When people need something in a hurry, the first place they usually look is the yellow pages. And the first things they usually look at are the ads. So if you own a business, take an ad in the GTE Yellow Pages, because it quickly gives your customers all the information they need. Hello. How fast can you make it to the Bursky Theater? Peter McTeague is on vacation this week. Here's the Dow Jones closing averages. 30 industrials were up at 993.34. 20 transportations were up at 425.68. Utilities down at uh, 116.94. 65 stocks were up at 388.87. There was little action on the New York Stock Exchange today. Many investors took an extra day off following Thanksgiving. Activity was mixed in quiet trading, the industrial average gaining about three and a half points. Declining stocks outnumbered the gainers by a margin of eight to seven. Interest rates are still the street's main concern. The prime hit 17 and three quarters percent at most major banks on Wednesday. Ron Jackson will be here in a moment with the sports. Smart car buyers today are looking for more than great mileage. They want a car that will last longer than their payments. Quality and economy have made Toyota the number one import in America. Service and low prices have made Bob Barkley Toyota the area's number one volume dealer. Compare the imports, compare the domestics, drive them, price them, then come to us and see the 1981 Toyotas today. We're first in quality, economy, service, and low price. Bob Barkley Toyota, 4501 South Trail, Sarasota. It's Scotty's November Super Sale. Now's the time to save 80 cents a square yard on Scotty's synthetic lawn turf. For a 12 by 15 foot area, you'll save $16. Scotty's has cut its regular low price of $339 to a low super sale price of only $259 a square yard. Save now at Scotty's. There's just one place to find low prices. Big savings. Best buys. Shop Scotty's and save. Now, the new Starving Artists group can help you change this room into this or this. This Saturday only, a spectacular new collection of top quality original oil paintings goes on sale at Starving Artist prices. Most priced from only $10 to $49. You've got to see it to believe it. Fine gallery quality without fancy gallery prices. The sale lasts noon to 5 p.m. only. This Saturday only at the Sarasota County Fairgrounds Potter Building. Don't miss it. The Sons of Italy for Sarasota and Bradenton are putting together an earthquake relief shipment to be sent to the disaster victims in southern Italy. Donations of money, clothing, and canned food items are urgently needed, according to Nick Caffaro, Vice President of the Sons of Italy. That drop point for donation is Sam's Meats at 2852 Ringling Boulevard. Or you can phone Mr. Caffaro at 366-9475. The drive will continue through December 4th, that is next Friday. Ron Jackson with the Sports Next, and boy, you could have <laughs> knocked me over with a feather. I was so astounded when I heard that Durand is out of retirement already. Surprising news, Surprise. wasn't it? Surprise. After I watched that fight Tuesday night, you know, I told you the next day I just did not believe that Durand was telling the truth when he said he was retiring from boxing. And I said, you can count on it, he'll be back. He wants a Leonard again, set up another big fight. His exact words today were, were um, I'm not retiring from boxing. I've changed my mind. I want revenge against Sugar Ray Leonard. You predicted it, but I bet you even you were surprised it was so quick. Right? Yeah, I thought maybe you'd try to make it look a little better. Wait a month or two. The whole thing's taking on an increasingly bad odor, though, Bob. I think, really, Duran quit to set up a big rematch because, really, there are no other boxers today 
who can draw the kind of money that the Duran Leonard matches drew the first two times out. So they figure set up a rubber match, get another ten million dollar payday. I think uh, about six months to a year you'll see super fight number three. And I think what they should do is include a free head examination in the price of the ticket next time because anyone who buys one could probably use it. So that's the story. Duran says he's coming back. Big surprise. The fourth ranked Pitt Panthers knocked off fifth ranked Penn State 14 to 9 today to claim the Lambert Trophy as the best team in the East. The win up Pitt's record to 10 and 1 and dropped Penn State to 9 and 2. Here's a look at the game highlights. Trailing 3 0 when Rick Trocano passed to Benji Pryor for a touchdown early in the second period. The Panthers led 7 to 3. Trocano had the Panthers deep in Penn State territory as the half ended, but Pete Harris intercepted his pass at the goal line and prevented another score. But in the third quarter, Trocano took it in himself, running nine yards for a touchdown to give Pitt a 14-3 lead. Near the end of the period, Penn State's Todd Blackledge threw the ball past three Pitt defenders into the hands of Kenny Jackson for a TD. A two-point conversion failed. It was 14-9. With less than a minute to play in the game, Blackledge tried to stop the clock by throwing the ball out of bounds. But Pitt's Carlton Williamson picked it off and closed down the Nittany Lions' last opportunity. Pitt won 14-9, giving coach Jackie Sherrill a much appreciated gift on his 37th birthday. This is Bud Fotopoulos reporting. We've got a big college doubleheader coming up for you tomorrow on TV40. At 12 noon, you can see the Florida Gators go against Miami. Then at 345, it's the annual Army-Navy game. Florida will be on TV again next week when they face their traditional rival, Florida State, on national TV. Their game was originally scheduled for November 22nd, but was moved against the TV exposure. That's a left third-ranked Florida State with a three-week break between games. I asked the Seminole star linebacker, Paul Porowski of Sarasota, how that was affected the team well um, there's there's a little bit bad things about it there's some good things about it uh, players that are injured can uh, recuperate and get uh, their old sores back you know away from them and and uh, other things but uh, as far as losing timing and all there's a possibility of that but I think with practice we'll, we'll be practicing pretty hard I think uh, we'll retain our timing and uh, everything should seem to work out all right should get you up knowing that you're going to be on national TV. It's not just going to be the folks here in Florida. They're going to see you from coast to coast on that one. Yeah, that's true. Um, that's something I like, playing on national TV. Uh, you know, just thinking of people uh, that I grew up with up north or whatever and friends you might have that are up north, that's a, a great incentive for me. I know that. You know, you've been a superb college player, Paul. Do you think you have a chance to go on and play in the NFL? Yes, yeah, so that's, that's been a dream of mine ever since I was a little kid. Um, I've always wanted to play pro ball, and I always want to play college ball, and I'm doing it. And I always want to play pro ball, and I hope to get that chance, um, whether, whether it be in the draft or free agent. Um, all I want is just one shot. Mm -hmm. And your size, you've come along now. You've got yourself built up to where you've got about the right size for a pro linebacker, don't you? Yeah, I'm, I'm 230 right now, and uh, most pros are right around there, maybe a little bit lighter. And uh, I just hope um, you know, I can stay healthy and uh, get one shot at it. In high school football, the unbeaten Venice Indians visit Cape Coral tonight for the Class 3A Region 6 Championship game. The Indians finish the regular season 10-0. Cape Coral is 9-1. If Venice wins tonight, they'll host the sectional championship game next Friday night. The Tampa Bay Bucks visit Green Bay Sunday with a 4-7-1 record. It looks like the Bucks are out of the NFC Central race this year. I asked the team's injured nose guard, Randy Crowder, what the Bucks have left to play for this season. Well, one thing they can do is save their jobs, you know. <laughs> so to do that, you've got to play good ball. And uh, Coach McKay is the type of coach, uh, if he sees you slacking up these last four games, it could, it could definitely put uh, a little, uh, you know, jeopardy for your job. So you're going to have to play real good ball. Uh, and this, you know, it'll benefit us, you know, just if you can go in the full, you know, end of the season, just have good four games, it'll be a good incentive for the next coming season. Mm -hmm. You know, because you... When you end up the season on a bad note, it's going to carry over through the off season. So uh, you try to end up on a good note. You maybe have you a little working out a little bit harder, knowing that you know, hey, you finally got together at the end of the season. Let's keep it going to the end of the season. Uh, I think this is a frame of mind they have to take. And and uh, also, you know, we're in a division where really we're not 100 percent out of it. Yeah. You know, we've sort of eliminated ourselves. You know, not you know, people haven't done it to we've done it to ourselves, but we're just not out of it completely. Because with our division, we can still win if they can go out and win the next four games and. You know, Lady Lux, you know, lays with us a little bit more than it has been. 
The Manatee Junior College basketball team plays Aquinas of Tennessee tonight at 8.45 at MJC's own Thanksgiving tourney. Santa Fe plays Hillsboro in the first game at 7. Then the winners meet tomorrow night for the title. And don't forget the Snowbird Nationals going on this weekend at Braden and DeSoto Memorial Speedway. Gates open at 2 both tomorrow and Sunday. That's it in sports. Bob will be back in just a moment. If you want a truly special Christmas gift, Hytel Jewelers offers a very special selection at surprisingly affordable prices. Stocking stuffers that will more than delight your loved one. Hytel Jewelers, the source for diamonds. Sarasota, Venice, Bradenton, Port Charlotte, and St. Armand's Key. This is Magnavox, absolute quality in every detail. And here's a super value offered by Thurston's, the large economy size stores in Sarasota, Bradenton, and Venice. This portable color television features a big 19-inch screen. It's all solid state. Thurston's proudly offers this excellent value in color television for $348 with trade. Now that's less than you expected. $348 for a Magnavox color portable television at Thurston's. Quantities are limited, so hurry to Thurston's now for a Magnavox. Every night is like opening night at your Dodge dealer's hit show of the season, an 